Greetings, greetings, and salutations, beautiful people in the beautiful world. It is me. He is I. I am him. Zach Latimer, Z Lat, and welcome back to another segment of Right and Exact. A shout out to a new nation and a shout out to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate that. Today, what I want to talk about and build on just is truth, man. And a lot of times, some people present truth as absolute. They present truth as uh, immutable. They present it as it's not changing, that this is the truth. And, and that couldn't be further from the truth, okay? The truth is always changing. The truth is like life. It's flowing through you. And a lot of times, we like to crystallize truth. We like to crystallize points and times in our life and then and then don't understand why we become so tired and why we become so worn out is because now that we're fighting this current or we're fly, fighting life. So a good way to look at this too, um, a good example of this, just as in athletes, man, and athletes, a lot of times you'll see them that at the top of their game, you can name, you can go down the list and name just a bunch of athletes who have dominated their field, who have straight, when they step on a play, on a court or a field, they dominate. And it is just a beautiful thing to see when somebody imposes their will on somebody else and you just like, man, and all of that time, energy that they have spent into perfecting and honing their craft. And then you start to see that as you keep watching it and then younger guys start coming on that there is somebody who is undefeated. Who is undefeated? Father of time. And as you keep watching this person as they once used to dominate, now they can't seem to let that let that go because their mind tells them that they still got it, but their body is saying, no, man, this, this is not it no more. We got to move on and do something else. And as you're sitting there watching them, you're like, man, I remember that time when they used to just kill. This is starting to become hard to watch. This is like a train wreck. And then you tell them, like, man, do you think that you're about done? Do you think it's about time to move on? And then, no, I got a lot more left in me. And then you're sitting there, hmm, nah, bro, this is about it. But see, though, it's hard to accept the truth that that stream and that current of life is pushing you down and it's time to go move on and do something else. So then when somebody presents to you this truth, then you fight it. Same thing in life, right? Same thing with, with either people working with in their, in their job or on a relationship, just trying to crystallize certain points in their life that they feel like it's going to be like this forever and I just don't want to move it. And that's that Oshun energy really well over that river that only is going to show you, a, a, that can show you a, only the quote unquote good things that you want to see in a particular time. But you got to realize that nothing is for certain and nothing is forever. Nothing. Everything is moving and everything is flowing. And when you try to hold on and crystallize these quote unquote good times that you have or these ripe times, just understand that when things are ripe, you stay there long enough, they're going to rot. So then what happens? One starts to fight the stream. One starts to fight life. And then you start to ask him, man, I'm just so tired. I'm so worn out. I just don't have any energy. Yeah, because you're fighting life. You have to trust the flow. You have to trust the current. And even if you may see, you might look down there way ahead and you say, man, it just looks so rough down there. And it looks like there's things that are just going to take me down and it's uncertain. And I, I don't know about the uncertainty down there, but you know what? Nothing is for certain. Nothing lasts forever. So just as, I, I mean, bad times don't last long as good times do, quote unquote. Right? Just depends on who you ask. So you got to trust the flow. You got to trust the stream. And you got to understand that you just can't run from. You can't run from truth when it's presented to you. You can't just run and, and, and to some of these fake gurus or these fake people who will just tell you, stroke your ego and tell you that, you know what? Nothing that you're doing is going to cause you to, to, to move or, not, or cause you to change. Which when truth is presented to you, it's going to have to, it's going to cause you to move. It's going to cause you to make a change. It's going to cause you to go with that flow. But then they'll present to you some stuff to say, you know what? This is just the other people and you got to get rid of them. And then once you get rid of them, then everything will be just fine. But then you keep wondering why you keep ending up in the same situation in the same point in life that you are and nothing is happening and nothing is moving for you. Well, that's because somebody just stroked your ego.
or when somebody presents to you truth, then you unleash a warrior. You release that inner Ogun on them, but you won't release it on yourself though. Because if you release that inner warrior on yourself and attacked your problems the same way you attacked other people when you felt like they, they were attacking you, then you could start to get some things done and changed in your life, right? And it's not, and when somebody does present to you this truth, it's not mean, right? I mean, they're presenting it to you with some tact, but it's not mean. What's mean is not telling somebody the truth. What's mean is knowing that somebody is about to run into a wall and you sit there and watch it and not even tell them and say, hey, man, you might want to watch out because you're about to run into a wall. That's mean. You can go to church and see this a lot of times when people up there singing and they're just God awful, terrible. And they sit there clapping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then whisper to their friend. Yeah, you're good and terrible. All right. That's mean. Mean is not telling somebody the truth. So what you need to find and figure out in life is, you know, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And, uh, and, and stop running from it. Stop trying to avoid it and, and embrace it. Embrace the stream, embrace the current, and embrace the flow of life. Okay? Because fantasy is what people want, but reality is what you need. Stop running from it. Because at the end of the day, you have to accept the truth about you. And even if you don't, then you got to understand that life will go on without you. <laughs> so embrace it. Now, if you want to get deeper into this, you can go to Enlightenment Transformation. Chief will go all the way in. Go check him out. Um, and if you want to holler at me, you can catch me on Instagram, Zach Latimer, Z-A-C-H-L-A-T-I-M-E-R. I will that you got something out of this. I will that you have a wonderful day. And I will that you just flow and go with the current and trust the current and the stream of life. Deuces.